This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of where versus where. You all are married, been together for nine years, but you, Mr. Ware, believe your wife is cheating and you have opened this case because of that belief. Tell us why you are here. Yes, Your Honor. I believe that my wife is cheating on me. Okay. I'm not um, cheating. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get to you. Let me hear what he gotta say. I have reasons to believe it. Um... Oh, my goodness. Well, this is tearing you up. Yes, it is, Your Honor. Um, how are you feeling at this moment as you try to figure I'm out... I'm hurt. I'm how hurt, you here? Honor. Um, you know, um... My wife... She's very flirtatious. How does it feel to see your husband standing here it so hurt. overcome that he can't even get the words together? Oh, okay, Your Honor. He is in tears because he believes that you're cheating. You know, Your Honor, I wear my marriage on... Your Honor. I wear my oh, marriage no. with pride. I okay. rocks my marriage. Okay. I rocks my marriage. Okay. I don't let no man come. If it ain't Jesus, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it because I'm not going to hell. No, nah, that's how I feel. I'm not gonna burn a hill for no one. I got married because I love my husband, but I also got married because I did not want to suffer. All right. In yeah. sin. That's why I got married. Here's my question. Have you ever cheated on your husband in no. the past? So I you don't have, have no never reason. cheated. He gives me everything. So he... you don't say... You say, I don't even have a reason to cheat. Your Honor. No. Your Honor. Okay. okay. Mr. Yeah. Ware. You have. Your Honor, um, I got a phone call from my mother. Um, she was diagnosed with throat cancer. Oh. Um, belated. I went to go be by my mom's side, and in the process of me being by my mom's side, I get a phone call saying my wife is out hanging. Oh, she was in a club and running the running streets uh, with Tom, Dick, and Harry. Um, she she started a new life. Oh, you know, Jehovah, you gotta Jehovah, understand Jehovah. this, Miss Ware. Were you in the clubs while he was out taking care of his sick yes, mother? Yes, I was. I'm not gonna tell, and I'm gonna be real. Yes, I was. But see, your honor, he's not telling the whole truth. If you gonna tell it, you tell it right. You know, he called me, uh -huh. and he was like, "Baby, I love you, but I ain't never coming home." He's then not telling you what he was doing. Then were you sleeping with different men then? No. Well, that's a lie. All right, right. you don't believe that that's at all, Mr. Ware. I Blair. got calls telling tell me that my wife was cheating. I, I researched it, Ooh, you know. Jehovah, you gotta Jehovah, understand Jehovah. this. I called the voicemail. It, it, I got men calling my house around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning while well, booty call hours. Person. You understand that? Yeah, it I was one booty call. So this... And I never had sex with him. And he was not my type. I gave him my phone number, and then when we got to talk, I was like, no, I'm not doing this. Well, you if know, he wasn't your type, why'd you give me your phone number? I was drunk. <laughs> right. Mr. Ware, clearly this marriage is in trouble. What was it like in the beginning? I gave her something that I never gave no other woman. You know, my heart. My whole wow. heart. And she walked into my life like a princess, you know? And I wanted to be the prince, you know? And uh, along the way, we, we tied that knot and we became king and queen. And I thank God that I did run across her because, hey, I wouldn't be the man I am standing in front of you today if it wasn't for But her. he changed me, too. He have. He changed me. That's why I say I rocks my husband, because he have changed me. He didn't change me for the worse. He changed me for the better. Well, good grief. Y'all done got together. Y'all king and queen. <laughs> Look at this, the, the wedding picture. Those... Look at this beautiful wedding picture. Y'all changed each other for the better. Why in the dress. world are you in... <laughs> <laughs> Why in the... Well, Yana, you know, I just... You know, I, me, personally, I need to know that I'm not putting my life on, on you know what I'm saying, in putting all my eggs in one batch, and it's not worth it. And so, Mr. Ware, why do you think she's cheating? Well, Your Honor, you know, um, I picked up a second job. I was in the process of going into the freezer area. And I noticed, you know, just hypothetically, you know, a group of guys standing over there, you know, laughing and joking, you know, when I walk away. But as I come back around, they hush-hush, and everybody act like they, they re seriously at work. So I go back the next time to go to the cooler. I hear the same noise that my wife makes doing climax. You know, oh, Lord Jesus, shoot. Oh, Lord Jesus, shoot. You know, and it's so just a you hear these co guys it's... saying this? Yes, Your Honor. It's just a coincidence. Oh, you know, Jehovah, you gotta Jehovah, understand Jehovah. this. It's a coincidence. During our intimate time, 
You can just hyperly come off the top of your head and just say this. Okay, so and laugh and joke and you know watch so you, and, 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 and so you see you hear these guys and they're saying, yes. "Oh Lord Jesus, what?" Yes, "Oh Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, shoot!" Yeah. "Oh Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, shoot!" shoot. And yeah. as you're hearing this, you're like, "That sounds familiar," Ooh, and it clicks to you it, that right. this is what she says when you all are Ooh, making Jehovah, love Jehovah, at Jehovah. the point of climax. Yes, Your Honor. Ooh, you know, Jehovah, you gotta Jehovah, understand Jehovah. this. I don't deal with these people. Ooh. They don't know nothing Jehovah of me. Help. They don't stay next door to me. Ooh. They don't stay so around the, the corner from me. You know. So the only way they, they can know that. It's a coincidence. Well, they were just walking past someone. Oh wow. Ooh, and then they're working at the same place with me, right? So the only way they can know that Ooh. is if Ooh. one of them has been with her. Right. And you think they're making that Ooh, noise Jehovah. to let you know they've been with her? Jehovah! 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 Miss Ware. He, he wrong. Miss Ware. He wrong. Miss Ware. Miss Ware. <laughs> he wrong. Do, do, Miss Ware, do you say, "Oh yes, Lord Jesus, he shoot"? Did. <laughs> He's, I did it but it's a cold so you do say that. No they at work, saying the same thing. Right. Listen, listen, y'all gotta listen. Okay, so you do say that. Yes. And so there's no way these guys would know that unless you've been with them. I think he's over exaggerating. I think that. A coincidence, he, right? Yeah. Whatever. Okay, because I gotta tell you, oh Lord Jesus, shoot is not common. If you keep Amen. hearing that, thank ooh, you. And so thank the you. fact that they would thank say you. that in front of your thank husband. You. Every job he go to, I sleep with somebody at that job. Every job. Then that give him an excuse to leave one job to another job to another job to another job. Are you admitting that you're sleeping with all these no. people? No. You're saying he's accusing you yes, of that. Yes, he's accusing so me. So every job he, he goes to, he says you just slept with somebody yes. on that job. Yes. Mr. Ware, you're not doing that, are you? Yes, he is. Your Honor, you know, I love her, but do I believe that she's the woman that, that, I, that I fell in love with? No, I do not. Have you seen anything else that make you think that your wife is cheating? I, I came home from work. I knock on the door. You know, we only have one set of keys. It takes us seven minutes... That's a lot. ...to come to the door. But when I walk, walk, walk up in the house, I notice in the, in the tub is our oh. bed sheets. If, 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 if the sheets was just toast up in there, it's still dry. You know, it's not soaking wet all the way through. This is what she was doing in the process of me knocking at the door. Then I get in the room, the bedroom window's open. It's January in Chicago. And the window's Wait open. Wait a moment. Okay. For real. Okay. Okay. So you know, did you... I go take the garbage out. In the process of me taking out the garbage, I look down beside the window, I see footprints. That's a lot like, of like, like, like a person, you know, said, scooted out the, out the window. And you know, jumped out. Finger, fingerprints up the, up on, up the windowsill. Not, not, we, our window sill. This is fresh snow, Yon. That's a lie. All right. These footprints are deep right here, and then they, they lighten up going towards the back. Okay, right. Miss Ware. He's lying. The hey. man is lying. So tell us what happened. I got up, cleaned myself up, and I threw the sheets in the tub because we didn't have a washer and dryer. Threw the sheets in the tub with bleach, and I changed the sheets. I tried showing him that where I had bleach in the tub. And then I had lit a candle on the candle that caught on fire. Okay. But why was the window open? Because I was letting the smoke out because the smoke alarm came on. But why were there fingerprints on the ledge? He didn't tell there? you that. How can they... I scream is... Bo um, the scream is like... Because the scream was already bold, but my landlord came and screwed it down. So there's no way for there's you no to get way. out. There's no way. So you deny that you had a man in your house oh, when he came home that evening? I don't cheat on my husband. I think we have okay. enough evidence, Mr. Cutler. Okay. Mr. Ware, you believe your wife has been unfaithful to you because you've heard some of your coworkers mockingly use the very same phrases she uses when you all are making love and she climaxes. Yes. You came home, you didn't have a key, and it took her seven minutes to open the door. Yes. And because of that, you believe that your wife is cheating with other men. Yes, Your Honor. Because of this, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call licensed private investigator Eric Eccles to determine, is she cheating? Good day, Mr. Eccles. How are you? Fine, Your Honors. How are you doing today? Doing well. It's good, good to see you. Tell us what you and your team did to investigate this case. Well, Your Honor, I had a very built and well-put-together associate of mine 
go undercover and pose as a man who was coming to court because he too was accused of cheating. He was placed in a room with Ms. Ware and a hidden camera to see if she would take his bait. So what did your associate find out? Everything seemed pretty calm at first until a court staff came in and asked my associate to change his shirt before he took his polygraph test. Oh. What happened after he removed the shirt? Well, uh, Ms. Ware got pretty heated at first and did everything in her power to keep it together, and we also brought that tape. <laughs> oh, I see you're failing. You're going to take your test already? Huh? No, I'm going to take it. Two more. Mr. Ware, what do you think as you're watching? I'll just, I'll just say my wife is selfish. If I was to touch a woman, there's a problem. A coworker can't even say nothing to me. So I go there and put some... Uh, you would, you some, would shut your eyes. Sunday eye. lotion on her because she wants to Sunday lotion. I didn't put no lotion. lotion. All I did I'm was roll up his sleeve. Right. He said it hurt it right up in here. So I rolled the part up and I was like, okay, you can pull this up too. And it will help. So and that's the know. only thing I did. I didn't sleep with him. I didn't do yeah, nothing. I had and only when I said he was going to make Derek look small, I was talking about I his muscle. I was shave my yeah. head, yo. Ms. Ware, let me I ask you this. I the back of my head. Ms. Ware, let me ask you this. You see, if the situation were reversed, you know if, there were a, if there were a woman who had on a halter top and, you know, some Daisy Dukes, upset. and he acted the saying. same way you acted, I'd probably be upset. You'd be upset right. with him. And I know I heard you say that. For right? But he was sexy, though. I know, I know. about that is I heard you go, Lord Jesus. Hmm. Hey, so you what you... That's the same thing that yeah. you always say. So that does right. corroborate. Uh, it's coincident, ain't it? To further investigate this, we ordered Miss Ware to take a polygraph exam. We like to call certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt into the courtroom. Ron, would you escort him in? Tommy Platt. <laughs> Mr. Platt, how are you? Good, Your Honor. You performed a polygraph examination of Ms. Ware, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. Ms. Ware was asked, have you ever had physical sexual contact with anyone from your husband's job? What was her response? She stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that... The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. Yeah. We still have one more question. I know, but I believe in Jesus, and Jesus know my heart. Hello. Mrs. Ware was asked, during your marriage, have you had sexual intercourse with Ooh, anyone Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. other than your husband? What was her response to that question? She stated no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined that she was telling the truth. Mr. Ware? Yana, you know, um, I can be a man enough to say, well, sorry, I apologize, you know, but I also got to make it up to you, okay? I you told him I want that? some things. I told okay, him if I, mean, I pass this, I want some things. Hey, we ain't got to go to the ring. I want a diamond ring, and I want a new car. All right, well, Miss Ware, and I'm going to talk to you woman to woman. Yes, ma'am. When you have a big personality, you have to be careful with your husband if he's the quiet type because you can stomp all over him and not even see it. When we turned to him, what he said was, I'm sorry. I'm willing to do some things to let you know I love you and appreciate you. I love you. my husband, Your Honor. I, I, I know, but here's the thing. Your response was, I will up, up, up. And so I would encourage <laughs> you to be a little more gracious toward him. 
as you forgive him for the accusations he made. And Mr. Ware, you know, you got yourself a handful right here. <laughs> you got yourself a beautiful, loving handful. <laughs> and she didn't just turn that way overnight. You knew she was like that when you got with her, which is what you love about her. So you've got to allow her the space to be herself without being so suspicious. You walking out with your queen. That's what you want. That's right. And that's all I ever want to be yeah. treated like. I'm not a hoe. Come here. All right. Yeah. I'm not a hoe. I'm a woman. And I'm part of him. God gave me to him. And I rock it. <laughs> well, Mr. and Mrs. Ware, we have counseling available for you to make your marriage even more fruitful and more fulfilling than it is. And you know what? I thank you, because I knew nobody can do it but y'all. You gave me back my marriage. Thank you. Yes. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, fulfilling, vivacious marriage. Court is adjourned. <laughs>